Hi, in this lesson I'm going to talk to you about Scenario Outline feature of Cucumber Gherkin course for Java. Coming up! Hey, thanks for being here. I'm Nilton Santos and I am an Oracle, a certified Java developer with over 20 years of experience and I am the founder of craftofprogramming.com. The craftofprogramming.com is an educational website focused on teaching general computer science topics, programming languages and software tools. If this is the first time that you are here, then please subscribe, like and hit that notification bell so that you are informed every time I publish regular content. Also, leave a comment below and share this video with friends. Let's get started with today's lesson. Okay, so uh, building up on the previous lesson today, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, scenario outline, which is a very important feature, which is very useful when you, uh, you have a c multiple scenarios where the only difference between those scenarios is the uh, arguments on that you're passing on to the um, test. That's the only thing that changes. The logic is the same, it's just the data that is different. Every time you see that, that you keep duplicating your scenarios uh, and because you need new data, new arguments, this is a key you know, the sign that you need to replace those multiple scenarios with the scenario outline. Let's illustrate. So continue here with our basic book queries, the so first thing we're going to do is let's, um, you know, introduce a new one. So I'm going to copy this and let's call it example with scenario outline, okay? So now we have our scenario outline, example scenario outline feature here. And what I would like to do is let's expand these um, queries to search our books not just by title but also by say topic recall that the uh, book csv here right recall that the book has these five properties it has the title the number of pages the topic the year of publication and a list of authors okay so when we query the book we can query not only by title but by any combination of those you know, a additional uh, properties of the book object. Let's delete this and let's say I search a book given its title and topic and this will be our motivation for this scenario outline. So when I search for the book with title affected Java and topic, um, let's say the topic is computing, okay, then I find the book effective Java for example okay so let's look at our book csv and say we have here design patterns which is also computing and i find that book let's continue adding another and here let's change the type let's say dune which is a sci-fi um, book dune and why not let's also copy and say um, let's look for 100 Years of Solitude, which is a novel. Um, and obviously, let's assert that we find that book. Okay, so now that we have our four scenarios um, all written, let's implement the step. And let's implement it in the same um, uh, step definitions file. And as usual, we capture the um, we capture the title with a string, with a cucumber string, and the topics we use the capture all um, cucumber uh, operator. And obviously the first parameter is the title, and the second is the our topic enum. And what we want to do is, let's see, we want to ser we search in the book with this, and then we find, we assert that we find the book. So notice that find the book, this step here, is captured here and the book is a field of our step definition uh, class. What we need to do first is we need to get the book with title that we pass in, okay? And let's um, assign this to our book field, okay? 
I mean, we can do an assertion here. Why not? Let's assert assert not null uh, this book here, and then we have to assert that the topic is what we are expecting. Okay, so we want to assert that the um, book topic is equal to the topic that we are passed in. All right, so that's kind of a simple implementation of this step. Let's um, execute it. Example with scenario outline. And as you can see, um, all of the four scenarios pass. Okay. So now, why this is, you know, really a bad, you know, cucumber uh, uh, feature file? It's because there's a lot of duplication, obviously, right? I mean, notice that the only thing that changes here is the data right or the arguments to be passing to the test right so this is where the scenario outline comes in handy so let's write the scenario outline uh, let's search this given a title and topic and notice that when i imp as soon as i wrote scenario outline intellij is saying you need to create an example section okay so uh, let's implement this and i'll tell you uh, then what you need to do. So the first thing we need to do here is um, we need to parameterize the title and the topic, right? And uh, the book title that I'm ex that I'm asserting here, uh, we parameterize it by using, you know, this operator less than, and then we write title, okay, and the topic, right? And obviously here is exact the same thing. It's our title as well. Let's make this thing simple with title and with topic. Let's rewrite write it like this. Okay. Find the book with or instead of that, just to leave it there so that I can reuse the step. Okay. So then obviously here we have to write our title and our topic. And now here we're gonna provide the actual uh, values, okay? So the first value is uh, the book Effective Java and the topic is computing. The second is um, design patterns. And again, the uh, topic is computing. The third uh, book is Dune and the topic is obviously sci-fi. And the last um, but not least is 100 years of solitude novel uh, and obviously novel. All right, let's format this. Uh, I think I need to write title here so that this is, uh, so that it matches the existing topic. Okay, perfect. So let's see what is happening here. So this scenario outline, as I wrote it here, is exactly the equivalent to writing these four scenarios. There is no difference. So let's see what's happening here. What's happening is for each line right for each row here on my examples table a table in cucumber is basically um, a row that has a header and the, and the each cell in the header is separated by the pipe uh, you know uh, character so you basically pipe and then you write the title and then you pipe it and so on and so forth so you write your header and then these are obviously your each row in the table. So what's going to happen is for each row in this examples table, Cucumber, Cucumber will uh, replace this placeholder's title and topic here, right? And will create a scenario for each. So effectively, this will be um, translated at runtime into four scenarios, one for each row in the examples table. Okay, so the way I wrote it uh, like this, it's exactly the same equivalent as writing four scenarios. So because of that, let's delete all of that stuff. Um, I can even, because I have a scenario outline, I could even move this onto the scenario outline. For example, what I mean is this. I could have written this like that, okay? And then comment this out, right? That's fine, I don't need to do that. Let's leave it like this. So this is exactly equivalent, okay? So let's rerun this test and uh, make sure that it still passes. See, it passed, but notice that notice that the test passed and I do have for each row, I have, you know, a scenario 
being executed, right? You see like the steps, my library is initialized, total number of books, blah, blah, blah. I search, I search and I find, okay? Uh, if you look here uh, on the test result, you will see that four scenarios were executed, 16 steps. Why 16? Because I have four steps per scenario, okay? So one thing to point out here, notice that this table doesn't have a name. I can actually give a name on the examples table, for example. I can say uh, book, title, and topic, for example, right? Now if I run this, or rerun, I should say, notice that now you have the book, title, and topic uh, description there. So I hope you found this video useful about the scenario outline feature of the Cucumber Gherkin for Java. Thanks for watching.